A password manager is a great tool to help protect you and your business. But I often hear lots of myths when it comes to using a password manager. So in this video, I'm going to look at the top six myths of using a password manager, and I'm going to dispel each and every one of them. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards, and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. So in this video, we're going to look at the top six myths when it comes to using a password manager. But before we do that, it might be helpful to look at what a password manager actually is. We've all got so many passwords to remember. All of our lives are online. We've got social media, we've got work, we've got online shopping, we've got online banking. We've all got hundreds of passwords that we have to remember. So as humans, we tend to take the easy approach. We pick a word, maybe it's the dog's name, and we maybe use that on every application, or certainly a variation of that. We might have a number at the end. That makes it nice and easy for us to remember each password. But because it's easy for us to remember the password, it's also easy for cyber criminals to try and get those passwords. And if they get one password, then they've got all the passwords to our digital kingdom and they can hack us till the heart is content. This is where a password manager comes in. It helps us to create secure passwords and unique passwords for each application. It means it becomes our password brain and we as humans don't have to remember anything. Now, when it comes to password managers, I've already got loads of videos on my channel about what they are and the pros and cons of using them. So after you've watched this video, why not subscribe to the channel and watch those videos? Now, I run an IT support company. We offer IT support and cybersecurity for lots of businesses around the UK. When I'm talking to my customers, I'm always encouraging them to buy everyone in their business a password manager. Why does everyone in the business need a password manager? Well, say if you've got a business with 50 employees and 49 of those employees take the password security really seriously. They've got complex and unique passwords for each application they use. But that 50th person doesn't really care. They have simple passwords and they're easy to guess. Now, if that person is the one that gets hacked, which they're likely to be, it's going to affect your business. So everyone in the business needs to row in the same direction. Everyone needs to take the cyber security very seriously. But without further ado, grab yourself a cup of tea and let's look at the six myths of using a password manager. The first myth that I hear people say is my passwords won't be secure. I'm not trusting a cloud-based password manager to remember all of my passwords. There's no way that's going to be secure. The question I ask is why? And let's compare it to what you do today. So using a password manager is going to help you create secure and unique passwords for each of your applications. What are you doing now? Using the same password to log into each of them. So if we compare the security of both, the password manager wins out every day. Now the second myth that I hear people talking about is saying a password manager is just going to slow me down. Now I get this, you're a busy person, you're running a business, you don't need an extra layer of technology in place that's just going to slow you down. But what if I told you that using a password manager would actually make things faster for you? If you choose the right password manager then it will have an auto login process built in. So how does that work? Well, it works this way. You'll go onto the Twitter homepage, for example, and the password manager will know that it stores your Twitter credentials. So it will fill them in without you clicking anything and it'll log you in automatically. That makes things a lot faster. The third myth to dispel when it comes to using a password manager is this. People are scared that the password manager actually knows all of their passwords. The company do. What if an employee of the password manager stole all of your passwords and used them? What if they sold them to cyber criminals? At least if the passwords are inside your head, no one's going to steal them very easily. Well, I get this and I understand where people's concerns come from. But again, it comes down to the password manager you choose. You want to use a password manager that uses technology called zero knowledge. 
This means all of your passwords are encrypted and nobody but you can access those passwords. It's not technically possible. It's zero knowledge infrastructure. So even if the password manager company wanted to see them, they couldn't. The fourth myth to dispel when it comes to using a password manager is this. People say, surely all of my passwords are more vulnerable if they're in one place. So I understand this. How do you access your password manager? Well, you access your password manager by using a password. That is called the master password. So what if someone knows your master password? Sure, they can just log in and see all your passwords. Well, yes and no. A good password manager will also have two-factor authentication. So to access your password manager, you need your password, but you also need the second level of authentication. That is usually an app on your smartphone. And Microsoft say, if you've got 2FA enabled, you're 99.9% .9 less likely to get hacked. So a password manager is secure. So what is the fifth myth of using a password manager? I often hear people say, why do I need to buy a password manager? Google Chrome offers to remember my passwords for me. Surely that's enough. Now it's true that Google Chrome has a basic password manager. It can help you create and remember your passwords for you. But a lot of people don't use it this way. A lot of people just use it to remember the passwords. And all the passwords it's remembering are the basic ones. But using Keeper Security will have lots of advantages over using Google Chrome. Keeper Security, for example, can handle your two-factor authentication as well as your passwords. With Keeper Security, you can store much more than passwords. You can store notes, documents, credit cards. Google Chrome, you can't do that. And with Keeper Security, you can share passwords with work colleagues without them knowing what the password is. Look, we need to take our password security more seriously. So if you want the free version, if you want to use Google Chrome, it's better than nothing. But in a business environment, I would always recommend spending that extra money on something like Keeper Security. So what is the sixth and the final myth when it comes to using a password manager? People say passwords are becoming obsolete. In a few years time, we won't even need them. So why should we buy a password manager? And it's true, Microsoft recently announced a passwordless login for Microsoft 365. So what is the future of passwords? I think the future is we will all use different methods to log into our applications, things like biometrics. But some applications that I use still don't even have two-factor authentication available. So the future of passwords isn't going passwordless in just a few years time. That period is going to be much longer. Now, whilst actually entering a password might not be the future, having something that can help keep you protected whilst not taxing your mind will always be relevant. So if you use a product like Keeper Security, for example, that company will always evolve with the modern trends. So they'll always keep you protected. We're still going to need some form of authentication to log into applications. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's the six myths of using a password manager. I look forward to seeing you again soon.